Nikki with her singing ass. Let's get to the show. Hey y'all, it's your girl Q, and today we are making fried dumplings. Now this is a Jamaican style fried dumpling, and it's delicious, and it was very buttery, crispy on the outside, soft and flaky on the inside. So right now y'all see that I'm adding some baking powder and some sugar and salt to some flour. And I'm stirring it in, incorporating everything together. I have some really soft room temperature butter and I'm putting that inside of the uh, flour. And we're gonna just work that flour with our fingers and inside of the um, bowl with our fingers and the butter to incorporate that butter into the flour. And you're looking for a beautiful um, crumb kind of texture. You want it to you know, look like it's, it's just coming together. You wanna incorporate that butter very thoroughly with your fingers yes get all in there so now I'm taking some super cold water and then I'm adding that into the bowl in increments and y'all know how I am about my increments so I'm just stirring in all of that water and getting it all good and together and you want the dough to be nice and soft these came out so crispy like I said and fluffy on the inside very soft you know what I'm saying delicious and it had um, a very, like I said, buttery consistency, just a buttery flavor and taste, seasoned perfectly with that salt and that sugar, just amazing. I added a little bit of almond milk just then because I don't feel that I added enough water, so I added in a little bit of almond milk just to get that dough and everything all together incorporated the way that it needs to be. And this is really kind of like a biscuit dough because it did have like a biscuit kind of flavor it tasted like a biscuit um but very delicious and fried you know what i'm saying like a fried biscuit that's what it tasted like so now i'm taking the dough and i am working it a little bit with my hands um because i you don't want to work it too much but just a little bit so that all the flour is completely you know um incorporated with the wet mixture and uh, because i added a little bit of that milk i'm just making sure that everything is coming together the way it should and now we're going to put that into a nice ball and let that rest yes you gotta massage the dough <laughs> you know what i'm saying put the love into it let the dough feel your hands you know what i mean there we go boom Yes, and now I'm going to sit that in a bowl, cover it with some plastic wrap, and allow it to rest. There we go. There it is. Very beautiful. That's a very beautiful dough. So now that we've let it rest for some hours, so I let this rest for a few hours, and I cooked everything first, and I cooked this. This is the last thing that I cooked. So now we're gonna take these out and we're gonna roll out our dumpling. See how beautiful and soft and stretchy that dough is after a little bit of just, you know, resting it and allowing it to sit. This dough was so luscious and soft. I love working with this. And y'all see what I'm, y'all gonna see what I'm talking about um, when I get to rolling them out. Yes, they're gonna come out so cute and, um, and just round and soft like you'll be able to see what i'm talking about right now i'm taking my pastry cutter and i'm cutting them into each separate piece this way i don't have to you know keep doing that as i go along it's already prepped and ready to go so now i'm taking the dough and i'm rolling it in my hand yes and i'm making it into a nice ball into a cute little circular ball see how cute that is i don't know <laughs> it's just so adorable so now we're rolling these into the little dumplings and I'm going to be frying these. So there we go. I use my fingers to kind of, because you see the shape that they were cut in by the pastry cutter. So I use my fingers to flatten it out and then roll it around to create that spherical shape. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> then that's words of vocabulary. <laughs> Pity it. <laughs> Yes. Yes, 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 yes. See? There we go. And with this dough, I believe I got about 20 of these little dumplings um, out of this batch of dough, which was awesome, which is pretty cool. And 
and I just ate so many of these damn things, y'all. I'm gonna tell you because I had did a, um, I cooked this meal. I cooked this these dumplings with a curry chicken meal, and I did the recipe for the curry chicken. And that video is up as well. So if you guys want to go and see that video, you'll be able to see it. But y'all, I had ate so many of these dumplings as I was frying them and shit. <laughs> so by the time it was time to sit down and eat, y'all, I could I I couldn't even eat the way I normally would go ahead and eat my plate. You know what I'm saying? I was already kind of a little full, you know, before I sat down. So it was just it was wild, y'all. It was so funny. I was like, damn. Okay, so because they are so delicious you know what i'm saying like i could see taking these and rolling them in like sugar or something and they being like really a, a cool like delicious treat you know what i mean it damn near felt donut-ish you know they kind of they felt like a, a bit of a pastry type you know what i'm saying very delicious very delicious you know and so um i could see myself doing little variations of these or probably stuffing them with cheese and frying them. You know what I'm saying? I bet they taste bomb. I bet. Very delicious. And so today I wanted to talk to y'all about literally raising your vibration to the point to where you don't have to respond to certain negative energies, right? So there are people sometimes that for whatever reason feel that they have a right to try to soak up or soak your energy you know what i mean they don't put anything back that's positive they don't put anything back that is edifying for you but they love to try to just take your energy and if they can't get you to do what they want you to do then you are just they just gonna talk the most shit about you they just gonna try to do you dirty this then the third whatever what have you already knowing this you know what i'm saying and and me learning how to not address certain stuff sometimes because it's just some people just want that attention and i love getting different messages from my spirit guys and from you know just within and one of the messages that's been coming across to me that's been very loud and clear is to preserve my energy and to stop responding towards things that are only sent purely to either distract me to be negative and not to be fulfilling or to put any kind of good energy back into me you know what i'm saying it's just a lot of foolery to try to distort your actual view of either yourself your position or where you need to be headed towards in life and so I'm getting a lot better at not responding to that kind of stuff because I feel like a lot of people just really want to see some drama. They want to see some crazy shit. They want to be entertained by certain stuff. And it's like, I'm entertaining, but not in that way. And I don't feel that, you know what I'm saying? That's something that I should keep allowing myself to be a part of. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, is like I said, people going to talk all the shit they want to talk, child that's life you know what i'm saying and i'm learning that the more people talk the more it really it's like I, I had tweeted a ways back and i said it's it's people that's really actually the words i believe i use was motherfuckers are gonna literally sit up and hate me into a way better situation you know what i'm saying because they steadily just talking talking this and they talking that and it's all this bull crap you know what i'm saying well hopefully you'll be bringing my name up around people who can think for themselves and they say well let me check this vibe out let me see what let's let's see what's really going on you know what i'm saying in that situation and they actually see for themselves what's really what you know what i'm saying because a lot of the times people will talk about you because they no longer have the ability to talk to you you know, and I think that that is a very negative way of living, of being. I'm the type of person, even with exes and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? If I rehash a situation or if I speak on it, it's because of I'm speaking about my actual personal experience with that person. I'm not sitting up trying to lie on nobody. I'm not sitting up trying to start no shit with nobody. I wish everybody that I've ever, ex ex except for the people who are exceptionally abusive towards me, and I still don't wish them hell. I still wish them well. I wish them healing. You know what I'm saying? So that they can heal past whatever mental issues that they have so they can stop trying to, you know what I'm saying, be negative towards me in the thereafter you know what i'm saying like 
I'm not that type. If you move on, you get married, you move on, you have kids, you move on, you grow a business, you move on, and you have success, I'm happy for you. I don't be wanting to see negative things happen to people. I don't. I'm not the type of person who wants to see fuck shit happen to folks. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Because I feel like, for one, it depends. Some people, I just really don't give a fuck about it. You know what I mean? I'm going to be real with you. Sometimes I just don't really care. And then on the other on the other leg of it is, is I'm working on my own life. So why would I want to see something negative happen for somebody else? Revenge is not a part of my, you know what I'm saying, my repertoire. I'm not on that because I know that the best revenge is to just live my life and to be happy. You know what I'm saying? And to move forward. And I think a lot of those types of people that are on that bullshit, they know that too. So they can't just let it go and allow themselves to be at a place of peace with themselves and the people around them they have to manipulate the situation they have to see something negative they don't feel that anybody else deserves to be happy but them and that is negative now look at this now that first one because this is a real this is real that first one didn't turn out right so i fried them more and now look at this yeah so i turned the grease down a little bit because it was very, it was too hot, so it was um, cooking the outside faster than it was cooking the inside. So what I did was, was I turned it down, and I allowed them to fry at a better pace to where they were cooking all the way through, and then they turned into those beautiful, delicious. Because the first one that I showed you guys, if you caught it, it was still doughy in the inside. It wasn't all the way cooked, fluffily, Fluff, fluffily. <laughs> I really just made up a whole word <laughs> <Falafoli>. <laughs> and i'm gonna use that period falafoli you know what i'm saying it's it's a it's a fluffy falafoli now look at that now those are perfect very just soft and crispy in the middle that's exactly how i wanted that to be and exactly how they needed to be and so now look at all of the dumplings just sitting there and a whole bunch of those did not make it to the plate <laughs> you can already tell there wasn't the same amount that i had rolled out already at this point because i was throwing them things back they were so good and delicious and crispy on the outside and fluffily on the inside and so now let's look at the plate up all right beautiful crispy golden just beautifully sitting there with that curry chicken that I made, which was so full of flavor. Like I said, I want y'all to go and watch that video as well. So you guys can, excuse me, see that recipe. But yeah, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't don't sweat the idiocies, the rumors, the bull crap. You know what I'm saying? Just keep continuing to produce quality in your life, to cultivate peace in your world and in your environment <clears throat> and what happens is is the healthier you become the better people and better energy that you also attract and then what happens is is you'll be able to reciprocate safely and lovingly reciprocate that energy because you're in a place that allows you to do so period and that's real you know what i'm saying and if you're the type of person that gives people a hard time just because y'all grew apart stop doing it because you're ultimately altering and halting your own personal growth you know what i'm saying when you're not allowing people to be themselves and to grow you're not allowing yourself to be yourself and to grow you know what i'm saying you're putting yourself in a place of negativity and that's not good do what's best for yourself do what's best for others and guess what you're gonna feel just like this dumpling amazing absolutely amazing period <laughs> all right y'all thanks for coming through once again and vibing with your girl q i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and i hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you guys like this art go ahead and hit that like button also hit that subscribe button so you can subscribe to your girl and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the freshness coming from the fresh squad oh my God. <laughs>